But it's like a movie every time I watch this damn show. And I love it. I really do. Each episode like a movie, bro. And I appreciate it. I really do. I appreciate it a lot. She drinking water. He drinking piss. What does this mean? You're trying to tell me something. Or no. <laughs> Jimmy? <laughs> oh, man. I'm okay. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I love you, Kimmy. I love you so much, Kimmy. I love you. I love you so much, Kimmy. You're so adorable. And you're such a good character. Why wasn't she in Breaking Bad? I don't want to know because I already know, but let me have my moment. I know it's common sense. Look at her, she's so adorable, man. Oh, I got it perfectly that time, perfectly. Seven million dollars? Yep. Seven million dollars. I would have had the same reaction. I don't blame. Money laundering. Money laundering. Seven million. Your client has seven million dollars. Where'd it come from? Don't worry about that. Why are you pocket watching? Why is you pocket watching? Tell me where it come from. Is it your money? No. Did you make it? No. What you pocket? Where, where did it come from? I ain't allowed to ask the same question. Seven million? Seven milli? That's a lot of money. What you doing with seven million dollars? What are you going to do if I hand you seven million dollars right now? Ain't probably ain't worth nothing right now, but you know what I'm saying? What you going to do? You going to buy you a house? Real estate? Stocks? Crypto? NLTs? What you going to buy? I don't know what I would buy, actually. I don't know what I would buy. Probably buy a Batman suit, something like that, some spider webs. Yeah, so I can swing or something like that. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. It's not for me to ask where a client gets his money. So, there's two ways he can play this. Either he's gonna tell him about his wife or he's gonna keep it to himself for leverage in the future. For pull in the future, for you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But is he gonna tell him right now? Cause that'll reveal everything, I don't know. Well, you must have a story. Car trouble. Yeah, broke down about six miles from the pickup site. Probably not the smartest move, but after a night lost in the desert, I made it. Well, that was the right call. Lalo, not stupid, hey, bro. Hey, you did good. He is not eh? stupid, bro. Uh, anyway, listen, I wouldn't be too happy. Seven mil. It, it really set up a huge flare. So make sure you buy something nice for the wife. Man, she's a looker, huh? Damn. My, my, my what? Damn. Yeah, the weather, man. She came by to see me. Hey, nice job, eh? I mean, for somebody who marries that far up, bien hecho, man. Respect, you know? Yeah. Man, if I was Saul, I would go off on Kim. I'm talking about I would go off on Kim. I would be... I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be like going at her, but I would be mad at her. I would be so yeah. mad. I wouldn't even talk to her, bro. Yeah. Oh. Is there anything you want to tell me? About? Lalo. You saw Lalo? Yeah. Jimmy, short of going to the police, Lalo was the only lead I had to figure out. Kim, what you I have to stay away from people like Lalo. Too late, huh? Too late. Jimmy. You don't see Lalo. I see Lalo, okay? <laughs> Too late I'm now. I'm in the game, you're not in the game. What? Too late now. You might well go see Al Capone. Al Capone. Yeah, you might well go see him too. Oh, you at it, Kim. You in it. The game. Listen, it was perfectly safe. 
I was at the MDC surrounded by guards like any lawyer visiting a client, okay? But he's not your client. Damn. Talk to him Get about to it. Me. Talk to him about it. Don't hide it. Don't put it I back. Y'all mm. supposed, supposed to talk about That's things. Once Salamanca is south of the border, our actions must be unimpeachable. Any reflection on me will not be greeted with kindness. Mm. Uh, <laughs> he rolled his eyes like, all right, buddy. You won't scare me, but I respect you. Yes. Sorry. That's okay. I guess my stomach's just not ready for this yet. Do y'all think Saul need a Heisenberg personality? I mean, he already got Jimmy and Saul, but Jimmy dead, so I think he needs a Heisenberg. Yeah, I'm sure. We both need to take it easy. How about a day without drama? They're trying to kill his plea deal because his buddy was carrying weed. Well, okay, so get a continuance. You don't have to do this today. Oh, this guy's scared out of his mind. I, I wouldn't feel right leaving him hanging. You lying. You lying. You lying. Jimmy, look, I know you're lying. Why? 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 Why are you lying to her? You just said you was going to be honest. You're going to tell her. I that's what make oh damn my camera hold on guys hold on technical difficult difficult technical technical there we go okay but like why no stop lying to her because you're pushing it and you're gonna push her away you're gonna push her away and I don't want that just stop lying to the girl it's not that damn hard just be honest just be honest she in the game now so it really something. doesn't matter terrible happened in the desert. This isn't about our deal. I'm not insisting or forcing you to tell me. I just want you to know that I'm here for you. Man, she's so real. She don't even care that you lying. That's how real she is. I was out of water and uh, in order to survive, I had to drink pee. Yeah, that's it. So, and there you go. Look. Still lying. I will recover. And we never need to mention this again. I'm gonna go get changed. Still lying, get man. Through. That's crazy. So what the hell are you lying about? She in the game already, buddy. Ain't no changing that. So you might as well just tell her the truth. Ya sé, ya sé, ya sé que tu co es impulsivo y cuando anda en esa madre, mira, nos vamos a encargar de que alguien lo esté vigilando. Hi there. We're bringing birthday cake out for Louise, one of our residents. Everyone's going to sing. Hector really doesn't like to miss these. Yeah. Could you give us a minute, please? My well, smile dropped. We just need another minute. Damn. Well, Lalo, I guess that's the end of you, buddy. It was a nice arc. No, and don't think of all the kids you'll help learn what not to do when faced with underwhelming odds. It's so embarrassing. You're pushing you probably it. have to change your name again. You're pushing it, Baldy. You're pushing it. Just so you know, I don't think any less of you. You're still a, a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going through something right now, man. Let's not solve for real. Yeah, look at him. He out of it. Damn. Didn't, didn't, this crazy. This crazy. I wouldn't have done that. He looking for bullet, he looking for bullet holes. Yup. So that that means it's good news? Yeah. 
I think so. Great, let me hear it. I uh, quit Schweikart and Coakley. I don't know why, but I thought, I don't know why, but I just thought I'm pregnant. Man, I don't know why I thought that. I don't know why I thought that, but I thought oh, pregnant was gonna come out of her mouth. And I gave up Mesa Verde. That was, um, oh, that helped me to see what's important, what isn't. So you're just gonna throw it all away? You I mean, might wanna pick that up. You might wanna pick that up. I'm not throwing it away. I did SNC. I did Mesa Verde. I, I achieved that. Pro bono means no money. So what's the plan here? We all make choices, right? And those choices, they put us on a road. And the road has good choices and it has bad choices. And it that don't even sound right coming out of his mouth. You really don't sound right coming out of his mouth. This is a bad choice road. Give me the courtesy of believing this is right for me. And I'm giving you a reality check. This is too far too fast. And I'm giving you a reality check. This is really none of your damn business. Mm. I like it. I like it. Oh my gosh, that's Lalo. That's Lalo. Don't let that damn, don't let her answer that damn door. Don't let her answer that damn door so. Yeah. Listen to me. Put your phone down, leave it on so I can hear. So you can hear, hear what? Do what I said. Stop! Yeah. Stop! Just be quiet, just be quiet. Please listen to him. Just listen to him, please. For the love of God, please just listen, listen to him because stuff about to hit the fan. Stuff about to hit the fan, ladies and gentlemen. Put it down. Somewhere it can't be seen. Hey, you guys. I come in? Lalo. Thought you'd be down south enjoying your freedom. Yeah, well. Hey, look, you want a drink? Uh, we got some beer. No, don't fridge. let him go over there. Your phone's over there. Stand it. Touch, touch Kimmy. Touch, touch Kimmy. I swear, I swear, if you touch Kimmy, I'm a, oh, I'm a, touch Kimmy. I swear, I swear to God, if you touch Kimmy, I'm a. I dare you to touch her. Look, you want to talk, we can talk. But uh, Kim was just stepping out, so. Nah, she could stay. Hey, relax. Sit down. We're just going to talk. Come on. Sit. Y'all showing fear. Y'all showing y'all scared. Okay. Y'all don't need to show that. Y'all need to show dominance. Put some bass in your voice, Saul. Sound like a little girl right now. Sound like you terrified. So, <clears throat> tell me what happened. Oh, you gotta confess it to Kim too. Yeah, when uh, when you picked up the money. When I told you already. No, you ain't lying your yes. way out of this. He gonna pull that gun out. I slept a little, but then in the morning, I walked again until I made it to a truck stop. I went into the bathroom. And why? Why is he lying? Why? Why are you lying? Saul, if they, Saul, if he didn't know the truth, he wouldn't be there with a damn Glock in his stomach cleaned up i bought some clothes and i i called a cab and delivered the money took him a couple hours to count it what tell me again uh oh music huh don't forget nothing don't forget nothing you better not forget now you better not change your damn story if you're gonna lie you better keep the same damn lie i picked up the money from those two uh you been add now you been that's a gentleman lala this is exactly what he told me so if you could just Shh. man if you don't put your damn finger down to kim whistler like that boy hell wrong with you oh sh kim whistler yeah that's what you ain't finna do buddy <laughs> hell wrong with you i'll jump through this screen take that gun out your pocket i just like to hear the story I mean, I paid a lot of money for that story, so I think I can hear it as much as I want. Tell me again. Just tell them the truth, did time. Damn. Just tell them the truth. Just tell them the truth. Two big bags of money. Seven million dollars. Two heavy, heavy bags that you paid me to get. Mike. 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 Truck, my, my boy Mike, man. I'm over with Mike. My car's engine went. Uh, I tried to fix it, but it was overheated or something. 
Look, I don't know what it's like where you're from, but here in New Mexico, you leave a soda can out. Someone's no, shot, no, that, no, 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 no. Like Yahoo's with guns, shot up a piece of junk car and then rolled it down in a ditch. Hell nah. Hell nah. What kind of operation are you running anyway? Because I think I know why you sent him to do this job. You have no one else you can trust. Seven million bucks? That I, no offense, but you need to get your house in order. She kind of clutching it right now. Hold on. Yeah, really. You don't know who you're talking to, Kim, but you I love it. trust your men with your money? You have bigger problems than if you trust Saul Goodman. And for the record, he doesn't lie. Not to me, not to his clients. He's telling you the truth. I don't know about that one, Kimmy, but, but you put on a good act. And no one you can trust, leave him out of it. Is that gonna work? Is he gonna fall for that? I expect him not to fall for that though. Kimmy, I think it worked, Kimmy. And the only way you're going to pay her back saw is you're going to keep lying to her. <sighs> Another great, great, awesome episode. Another one. I just got to go to the next episode. I just got to go. I got to go. I don't even want to talk about this, but this was amazing. This was the, by far, this is my favorite episode of this season. For sure. Probably number one. Probably top three over time. Like top three all time, all episodes. Yes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That intense scene right there was gold. I loved it. Kim, you saved the day. I thought you was going to sell, but you saved the day, Kim. I love it. 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 Oh my gosh. I got to go to the next episode. I got to. Something unforgivable. Episode 10. Something unforgivable. Oh my goodness. Man. Man. That was, that was great. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. That was awesome. That was perfect. That was 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100, 10 million out of 10 million. What can I say? Let me think. Um, What happened? Let me see what happened. Let's go through it. Let's go through the episode. As soon as Kim came home, I knew it was going to happen. As soon as Kim came home, I knew somebody was going to be, I knew somebody was going to either pull up or I thought somebody was going to be there already in the house. It just gave off the vibe. I already knew that somebody, something like that was going to happen. Man, that was awesome. What can I say? I don't have nothing to say. Go to the next episode. Go to the next episode, bro. I don't do post commentary. I don't do it. Go to the next episode. Go to the next reaction. Subscribe. Show love. Have you want to show love. We about to get into it, man.